trip to the revolution with Bag to the Future. Welcome to our video on the basics of Web3, a beginner's guide to the future of the internet. The internet as we know it has gone through a lot of changes over the years. We started with Web1, which was basically just static web pages. Then came Web2, which brought us the dynamic web and social media. And now, we're on the brink of another major shift, to Web3. In this video, we'll be giving you an introduction to what Web3 is, and what it means for the future of the internet. So, what exactly is Web3? Simply put, Web3 is the next generation of the internet, where the power and control is decentralized. With Web2, we have large corporations like Google and Facebook who essentially control our data and the way we interact with the internet. But with Web3, the power shifts back to the people. Decentralized technologies like blockchain, smart contracts, and decentralized apps, or dApps, allow for peer-to-peer -peer interactions without the need for middlemen. Segment 2, 200 words. One of the main advantages of Web3 is the level of security and privacy it provides. With traditional web applications, data is stored on centralized servers, making it vulnerable to attacks and data breaches. With Web3, data is stored on decentralized networks, making it much harder to hack or steal. Additionally, users have more control over their own data and can choose to keep it private or share it with others as they see fit. Another important aspect of Web3 is the way it empowers creators and content producers. With the traditional web, content creators often struggle to monetize their work and earn a fair share of the profits. With Web3, however, creators can use blockchain technology to distribute and monetize their content in a more transparent and fair way. This is possible through the use of cryptocurrency, which allows for microtransactions and direct payments to content creators. One of the most exciting things about Web3 is the potential for it to create entirely new business models and economies. With decentralized networks, we can create new marketplaces where people can buy and sell goods and services without the need for a centralized authority. This has the potential to disrupt industries like finance, healthcare, and more. However, there are still many challenges to overcome before Web3 can become a reality. For one, there is still a lot of technical work to be done to make the technology more user-friendly and accessible to the average person. Additionally, there are regulatory and legal challenges that need to be addressed to ensure that Web3 can operate in a safe and compliant way. In conclusion, Web3 represents a major shift in the way we interact with the Internet. With its emphasis on decentralization, security, and empowerment of creators, Web3 has the potential to transform the way we live and work online. While there are still many challenges to overcome, the promise of Web3 is too great to ignore. We hope you found this beginner's guide helpful, and we look forward to seeing what the future holds for the internet.